What is going on guys? It's Real Touch Team out here back with another car vlog thingy majig. And today I have another topic to talk about. And today is going to be how to start making games basically. Uh, a lot of people, beginners, fall into this new trap of, you know, creating the the new Call of Duty, so to say. Uh, you know, they're gonna be creating this awesome huge game with they're bringing on multiple programmers and multiple artists and they're getting music done for it when in actuality they have never even published a game before and uh, it never ends up getting finished never maybe one in a billion uh, these are things you need to work up to with game programming especially if you're going to be an indie game developer it's not an easy thing to do it's very I'm not going to tiptoe around it. It's a hard, hard uh, thing, being indie and being successful and making a living and all that stuff. Uh, you know, you, you read about the guys that, you know, make it big with these indie games, but that's really not, that's like the 1%. You know, uh, I've published several games, and I've also never finished several games and projects. Uh, I'm the first to admit that. Um, I have started... You know probably dozens of games if not more than that that I have never finished and uh, it's due to the fact that these games I'm taking under a huge burden with creating these games and you know if you're not mentally there or you don't have a good team behind you with you know maybe an artist or something that's not as committed as you are an artist uh, a music uh, developer you know another programmer people that are very influential to your game if they're not as committed as you are to the game then you're going into a game that's already broken from the beginning you need to and if it's just you that's great so I've kind of come up with a little pyramid scheme that I've actually been telling people about for some time now and I think I've said it in an earlier video one time about this little pyramid scheme and uh, I had a good response in that video. I think it was my questions and answers video. And I think, um, uh, well, it, 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 helped, it helped a lot of people then, and I'm not sure everybody saw that. So I'm going to go ahead and make a video about it now. And it's this little game pyramid scheme, right? So it's basically grouped up to what you're going to want to do to begin is you're going to want to make um, eight very small games right just just in a row just eight very small games right and what this is going to teach you is finishing a game you're going to create just a very very simple idea and this is where my concept if you guys if, if you've been a, a long-term viewer uh, of wave which was a game that I created a while ago it was actually my first Java game that I made uh, that is a, a game using this pyramid scheme. Pixel Bit Trials, another game using this, this scheme here, right? So you're gonna wanna create something very, very minuscule, right? Even say, for example, creating like a Pong type game, but putting like a little twist to it, right? So maybe, um, <clears throat> I don't know, like, you know, four player Pong, but you can do something creative with it, right? So you're gonna wanna go down on a piece of paper you're gonna to wanna to design the entire game out. Again, not a big game, very, very small game. Design the entire game out and then create it and then put it anywhere. It doesn't matter where you put it. Uh, you can even just, you know, make like a little website for it or you don't even need to do that. Just, just have the game, put it somewhere on the internet and there you go. It's not made to wow anybody. It's not made to be the next call of duty it's made to teach you the process of starting and finishing a game right so you're going to do this eight times in a row eight times all different concepts all different games and then what you're going to do is you're going to pyramid up to uh you're going to create four medium-sized games right now i'm putting um I'm putting these games into terms of sizes, right? So you could probably say to yourself, well, how do you determine a small game and a medium-sized game? Well, it's just on the amount of time and effort that you put into these games, right? Like a small game would be like Pong or something like that. A medium-style game would be, you know, something along the lines of maybe like a uh, 
you know, obviously make new concepts, but like an online Pong game, you know, where it's kind of like it's more complex, there's more pieces to it, it takes longer to create, and uh, but again, not too long. It's a medium sized game, right? And it's not made to wow anybody. This is just a game that you make that's, you know, of medium size, which I've said, and uh, and there you go. So create four of these, four medium sized games. Now, um, <clears throat> once you've done these four medium sized games, you put them on the internet, uh, everything is good and fancy. You've now published 12 games, 12 games you've published uh, at this point. You know, you may have published some before this, but theoretically speaking, you will have published 12 games at this point. You've got a nice knowledge of creating um, or publishing games, going from the design phase to the finished phase of publishing, and you've got a lot of this under your belt. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna pyramid up from that, and you're gonna create two large scale games. Now, this is probably going to take you about a year to do. Uh, theoretically speaking, these large games, you're probably gonna want to get, um, again, don't mistake large for the next Call of Duty, next Battlefield, whatever. I'm using Call of Duty a lot, but you understand what I mean is that, you know, the next Grand Theft Auto, these are, you know, million dollar games. I'm not talking on that scale. Those are like super humongous, hundreds of people working on the game. I'm not talking about that. A large game may include, you know, you're starting going into 3D a little bit, right? You might be uh, starting to deal with uh, online, you know, maybe like a little, a cool little shooter, something like that. Nothing ridiculous, okay? You're going to want to make two of these games, and we'll split that up to six months each they take. Once you've done that, and you've, cre and you've published these two large games, I'm not even going to say you're going to be ready for that, but you should be able to mentally undertake on the next pyramid list here a very large game. This is going to be your game, the one that you spend a lot of time designing, the one that you spend a lot of time um, working on the back engine for, the one that you really, really want to be your game. And this is where all of the stuff that you've done before that adds up to the knowledge base that you have now. All right, so I hope you found this video helpful. Go leave a like, go and subscribe, and uh, watch out for new videos, new exciting videos. I've been gone for a while, but I am in the undertakings of creating a series that you guys, I think, are going to love. So uh, I'll see you next time. PDs.